Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 14 of chapter 2, section 7. If a rock is thrown upward on the planet Mars with a velocity of 12 meters per second, its height in meters after t seconds is given by h equal to 12t minus 1.86t square. A. Find the velocity of the rock after 2 seconds. B. Find the velocity of the rock when t equal to a. C. When will the rock hit the surface? Round your answer to one decimal place. With what velocity will the rock hit the surface? In this problem, we are going to do part b first because it's asking velocity for any generic time t equal to a. As we have not done the derivative rules yet, we are going to use the limit definition for the velocity. So the first second part is asking velocity v at time a, at time a, t seconds. So which is limit as h approaching 0, h which is the height function, h at a plus h minus h at a divided by h. So which is limit h approaching 0, h of t is given by h is h height as a function of t h of t is given by 12t minus 1.86 square. So here t is getting replaced by a plus h. So it is 12 times a plus h minus 1.86 t square. So t gets replaced by a plus h square. That is h of a plus h minus h of a. So in this function t gets replaced by a. So that would be 12a minus 1.86a square. That is a numerator divided by h. So it is limit h approaching 0. So it is 12a plus 12h minus 1.86a square plus 2ah plus h square. If you distribute uh, the minus here, that is 12a minus 12a, that will be a plus 1.86a square all divided by h. You notice here 12a get cancelled with 12a. So this will be equal to 12h minus 1.86 if you distribute the 1.86 over here. So that will be 1.86a square with the negative sign 1.86 times 2ah that will be negative 3.72 a h then negative 1.86 times h square that is negative 1.86 h square uh, plus 1.86 a square that 12 a and 12 a cancel out. So now we have to cancel out few more terms here uh, one negative 1.86 a square and positive 1.86 a square get cancelled out. So now we are going to divide every term by h in the denominator. So it will become limit as h approaching 0. 12h divided by h that will be at 12 minus 3.72a h divided by h that get cancelled out. Then minus 1.86 h square over h that will be a h. Now h is allowed to approach 0, so this is the only term which will become 0. The remaining two terms don't have h in them, so they will remain as they are. 
this term will become 0. So when you approach the limit, uh, when you approach h to approach to 0, you get 12 minus 3.72a being velocity, you have to write meters per second. So velocity at a for first part, velocity at a is 12 minus 3.72a meters per second. So this gives us velocity at any point, any instant a, at any time a. This is more generic than the first part. The first part of the question is asking us find the velocity of the rock after 2 seconds. So let's do that part. Now the problem becomes easy because we know that velocity at any time a from part b we can do part A and then replace A with 2. The question is asking us to find velocity at 2. So that is velocity at A where A is replaced by 2. That is 12 minus 3.72 A where A is replaced by 2. That is 12 minus 3.72 times 2. It's 12 minus 3.72 times 2. A gets replaced by 2 because the velocity is at, uh, established at 2. So that 2 is getting replaced here. So 12 minus 7.44, that will be 4.56 being velocity. You have to always give the units meters per second in this particular problem. Because it says 12 meters per second as initial velocity. So velocity all will be measured in terms of meters per second. Now we are going to do part e. When will the rock hit the surface? So the question is asking what time, what is t now when the rock hits the surface? The rock hits the surface uh, when the height is equal to 0. Whenever the rock hits the surface, the height will become 0, height of the rock. So we are going to equate the height to be equal to 0. This means 12t minus 1.86 t square equal to 0. So if you take the t common factor out, so it's 12 minus 1.86 t equal to 0. This gives us two times t equal to 0 and t equal to um, 12 over 1.86 seconds. As the question is asking, round uh, to your answer to one decimal place um, six it is 6.5 seconds if you reduce 12 over 1.86 now let's try part d with what velocity will the rock hit the surface um, the question is asking v at a particular time the time when it hits the surface is found in part c which is 6.5 seconds, so we have to determine the velocity at 6.5 seconds. Whenever you do the com computation in the calculator, it's better to be accurate. So it is, instead of taking the approximated value, which is 6.5, we will plug in 12 over 1.86 when we find out the velocity. So with what velocity will the rock hit the surface? The rock hits the surface with the velocity b at 12 over 1.86 this is what we need to compute velocity we already found out in a generic way which is part b which is 12 minus 3.72 a where a is replaced in this case is 12 over 1.86 so it is 12 minus 3.72 times 12 over 1.86 so we can do this in our calculator. By plugging in these values into the calculator, we get negative 12 meter per second. Um, note that the velocity can, being a vector, it could be positive or negative. But if it is speed, it is absolute value of the velocity. It is always positive, but the velocity can be 
negative. Here it is negative 12 meters per second for the last part. The rock hits the surface uh, with the velocity negative 12 meters per second. Hope this video helps.